guys are ready to go. So uh, I know we just went over this, but if you could uh, state it again, just so we are on uh, you know, the recording, uh, the years that you attended uh, the academy. I attended Princess Anne County tra Training School at Union Baptist Church in 1954. 1955, was transferred here. Uh, I attended here until I graduated in 1965. And uh, first off, could you uh, tell me a little bit about your family background? My family background. Um, my mom' name was Sarah Jane Williams. My daddy' name was. Elijah Holland, but everybody knew him as Lot Holland. If you didn't, uh, only the family knew him as Elijah Holland. There were six of, six girls and six boys. I was the ninth child. From the ninth child to the first child, we are the only four graduated from high school. So did all your uh, siblings attend uh, the Princess Anne County High School? All of them attended here. Okay. But the, the first eight, they didn't graduate. It was a good experience. You know, those teachers we had, they done all that they could do to really get, you know, get us to learn. And some of us did well, some of us did. Like myself, I graduated with a C average, which I could have graduated with a B average, because I, you know, my homework at night, I didn't do it. We tell I got in my uh, uh, homeroom class and do my first period work. Got my first period class and the seventh period work, like that. So I could have done much better. A lot of us didn't do as well as we could have done. Uh, and do you think that's uh, because of like the teaching or the resources you had, or it was more just a personal thing, like you just didn't, you know, have the time, or you just didn't get the it's work done? More like a personal thing, because then we really wasn't pushed by our parents to do better. And uh, so, how did you get to school? Was it like a bus, or did you have to walk? Or... Uh, sometimes we rode the bus, sometimes I walked. We lived about a quarter of a mile from here, right across Wichita Road. So, uh, why did you want to attend? Uh, Princess Anne County. Was it like, you know, because your parents kind of, you know. I can't recollect any one of my parents when I stood there. But all the children went to school. I, I attended because I said I want to do better. I want to have a better job and a better income than my father. So what was your favorite subject? My favorite subject? History. In the Scottish history. She's my favorite teacher too. Can you tell me a little bit of uh, an experience that you had with her or in the history class? Miss Scott? Miss mm. Carter, she, she had a son. Uh, that finished his class, he was coming 
in our history class, and he wants to answer to her question. She's a real, she's a real sweet person, and she didn't, she didn't take no stuff. Most of the kids liked her, and I like the point that when she tell you read a chapter, read chapter one and two, you can be tested on that tomorrow. All you had to do is read it. And she comes, she says, you get ALZ roll, ALZ roll. And you, she go down the line and you ask the question, you gotta ask. Okay, so the answer is real straightforward. She won. So uh, can you describe uh, the other type of classwork that you did while you attended? Classwork? I was good at shop, making things. Um, Mr. Woodhouse taught the shop. I was good at making cabinets and stuff like that, drawers, cabinets, little shelves, end tables, stuff like that. I was good at that. Okay. So what uh, other classes did they have besides, you know, wood shop and they got the, uh, like the regular subjects like history, English, or what other classes did they have? Art. That was it. Which not and art as far as extracurricular activity. Uh, can you tell us about what lunch was like? Or what would you eat? Lunch. That sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, we had good lunch. Okay. That lady right there. Ms. Ms. Knight. She was the school guard. And took in the lunchroom. She had real good lunch, and and they didn't refuse anybody. If you didn't have money for the lunch, you bring pretty much gave it to them. Okay. Uh, so, did you guys have like study halls or free periods? We had study hall. We had study hall. Um, my last. My last three years, my study hall, I would keep uh, Mr. Watson, he was a government teacher. I would keep his class for him in the study hall. And Mr. Watson was a, said he had so many semesters before he could be a professor. He was the smartest in the school, really. And he would come. I seen him go in the office, get somebody a transcript, change it. Great. He, he had that much power. He was he was good. Very good. A good good teacher. And the smartest of all of the teachers. So uh, as far as the teachers go, there was both black and white teachers there. Was no. Was all black? All black teachers, all black students. Like I say, the elementary school was from one to seven. High school was from eight to 12. And the teacher from one to seven they could give you corporal punishment. But once you got to eight, you know, you were allowed to wear jeans from one to seven. Once you got to eighth grade, you couldn't wear jeans anymore. So it was like a dress code that you had to kind of abide by. So to speak, they just didn't want you to wear jeans in high school. You know, most of us wore khaki pants. I was real good at baseball. Mm. I lived uh, for four years in baseball. I was good. Um, for defense, but for hitting the ball, I wasn't good at all. <laughs> so, kind of afraid of a curveball. Because when you throw a curve, curves come right at you. Then you get 
big breaks to that. That was kind of creative. Yeah. So they had other sports teams though as well, like football, oh, yeah, basketball. Yeah. We had one of the best football teams around. Back on. It was, it was, it was 67 when Maurice Hawkins was here. Yeah. Maurice Hawkins was in the Virginia State Hall of Fame. Now he was, we call him Baby Junior. Now he was real good. And we won a championship here. And Last game we beat Booker T. No. Maurice Hawkins was, he played all five sports track, basketball, baseball, football. He was good, very good at all. That's why he's in the State Hall of Fame. Everybody knew him as Big Jr. That's what we call him. So was it a lot of uh, students that kind of did that, that like played multiple sports and was part of multiple teams like that? Or was that kind of... Most of them played at least two sports. Most of them did. I don't want too many all-around sports players. Like Ron Reese. Ron Reese and Captain Officer Marvin Miller, him and Ron Reese Hawk, they went into Virginia State Hall of Fame together. How important would you say school spirit was? Good. We had good spirit in school. All the time. You know, the, the teacher was, was good. You know, let the students express themselves. You know, we didn't have no such thing as no uh, uh, profanity. Fighting and stuff. We didn't have that in school. So it was kind of like everybody was like a family there, basically. Yeah. Like that. So teachers, students, everybody included. Yeah. Uh, did you face any resistance or backlash from uh, for attending uh, high school? I'll tell you one, one is this on our face. See, back then, we had three black police officers, and they could only patrol in the, the black community. Monday Holloway, Charles Bates, and Sergeant Sparrow. And in the city, only let them patrol in the black community. They couldn't control the white community. Um, one day, um, they called me to the office and Pace. Pace said that I hit a school bus that came today with the rock, which I didn't, but Pace didn't like me because I used to see his dog. He didn't like me. And my, my brother, my brother came. He straightened 